Hello there. Welcome to the third and final video of this chessboard. In the last installment of this video series, I got Light Up Chess to work. And in this video, I'm finally going to implement it so that you can play chess over the internet. Buckle your seatbelts and let's get this ball rolling. The first item on my agenda was to build a box around the chessboard and get those ugly hot wires just hidden away. For the box, I took four lengths of poplar wood and sanded them down like with like six or seven different grits of sandpaper and that just made it as smooth as a baby's bottom. The hinges are there so that I can continue working on the chessboard even while I finish it. By the way, it can be any color that you want. It's not just limited to the blue I've been showing so far. And now for the meat and potatoes of this project. I'm going to be using leechess.org as my API interface, or at least application protocol interface, but it doesn't really support any of the chess moves, so I had to program those by myself. Here I am working with the leechess API. This takes in chess notation, which is the piece you're moving and where you're moving it to, and then I get a JSON file back, but that JSON file is a blocking call, so this program needed to be multi-threaded in order to run. Then I just kind of had to smush these two different parts together. And here we have our first working simulation of chess. The blue and green squares you see lighting up are emulating the next part of this process. I hooked it up and you can see the Lee Chess in the background, but the chessboard can't move the pieces by itself. So it lights up those squares so I know what piece to move as well as where to move it. By the way, this is the first clip that I got chess working on the chessboard over the internet and it was just so exciting seeing those pieces light up and move correlated to how it was moving on the website. Uh, this is just the dream of the project and it was so cool to finally see it come to fruition. With the basic fundamentals of this board working, I want to show you a quick game. This game is called Blitzkrieg, which is one of the fastest games you can play in chess. I'm also controlling the computer, so this is me playing myself, but it's cool that it kind of proves that you can play just with anybody anywhere in the world. Also, I just wanted to double check that Snake still works, and it just looks so good on this finished chessboard, and so does Pong. But uh, to be honest, it's pretty tricky to play by yourself, so I ended up losing to myself. I also went back and revisited lighting up the board. I changed it so that only the piece that was moved and where it was moving to lit up. This change made it easier for my little sister with Down Syndrome to be able to play chess with me because she could easily tell which piece she needed to move and where, even though I basically gave her an unplugged Xbox controller to make her feel like she was playing. But I think it just looks so good as this as well. It's so nice to see not only just that one piece light up in that really pretty purple, but also just like the nice clean glass chess pieces just playing on the board. I think I forgot earlier to show how you captured a piece, so I also am showing this clip to show that part. First you pick up the piece that you want to, to capture with, and then you pick up the piece that you're capturing and set it down, and boom, it's captured. Do you have any questions, concerns, or spiffy remarks about the chessboard? Please let me know in the comments below. By the way, this is our Robin Roberta. She's been living in her pergola for the last couple of days, and she just looks so comfy in that nest she made. Oh, to be a bird, relaxing in a bird nest and enjoying the nice warm sun on a nice spring day. Anyway, I hope you like this video and have a great day.